Today in the Daily Dose, the Battle of Saratoga. Following the Continental Army's crippling defeat in the Battle of Quebec, British war leaders hoped to crush the Americans' rebellion once and for all by isolating the New England states from the lower states through a cutoff offensive in upstate New York. In particular, the complete control of the Hudson River, which was a major tributary for Continental Army supplies and reinforcements. Beginning in the spring of 1777, three British armies were ordered to meet up and merge at Albany, New York. But when two of the three failed to reach their destination in time, British General John Burgoyne's column faced off solo against General Horatio Gates's heavily fortified Northern Department of the Continental Army. Fought on British Loyalist John Freeman's abandoned farm near Saratoga, New York, the First Battle of Saratoga, also known as the Battle of Freeman's Farm, took place on September 19, 1777, witnessing several hours of punishing exchanges from both sides. Momentum shifted multiple times during the early afternoon battle until Burgoyne ordered his column of German mercenaries to back up his faltering British line, which in turn forced a pullback by the Americans. And while the Continental Army lost the field that day, they suffered half the number of casualties as the British, which in turn crippled Britain's ability to continue their offensive ambitions on Albany and the division of the Hudson River. After the Battle of Freeman's Farm, Burgoyne dug in his troops for 18 long days as he awaited reinforcements from New York City. But after American troop strength increased to over 13,000 men, on October 7th, with his supplies hitting rock bottom, Burgoyne ordered a reconnaissance force to attack the Americans' left flank near a heavily wooded area south of Saratoga, known as Bemis Heights. Burgoyne soon withdrew his forces when the Americans caught wind of his troop movements. And after heavy rain and frigid conditions slowed the British retreat, two days later, Gates's men surrounded Burgoyne's broken army, which proved to be no match for the Americans' fortified positions at Bemis Heights. Now out of both options and supplies, Burgoyne surrendered his army on October 17th, officially ending the Second Battle of Saratoga. Despite their early losses at the Battle of Freeman's Farm, British mishaps and delays, combined with superior American offensive tactics by Gates's army, giving the Patriots a much-needed morale boost that in turn persuaded the French, Spanish, and Dutch to join the fight against their mutual rival, adding a thick layer of foreign naval support that would eventually lead the Americans to victory at the Battle of Yorktown, making the first and second battles of Saratoga a major turning point in America's push for independence. And there you have it, the Battle of Saratoga, today in the Daily Dose. Get your nerd on with the Daily Dose. And if you enjoyed today's episode, share the link with a friend or colleague so that they too can learn something new every day.